Hey, it's Adam with Tech AV Club. We're here in Vegas Pro 18. I've got my colorization of WandaVision ready because we're going to scrub through a clip with all the different methods of scrubbing possible. So uh, first off, that I'm aware of, which is a lot of methods. So I think it's all the methods. If there's a method I miss, let me know in the comments below. So first off, uh, if you want to get your cursor, this is your cursor right here. This is what we'll be moving around. You'll see in the preview window, whatever your cursor is on. So you can really just click through it. And whenever you click on an event, it'll pick a frame and it'll show you that frame that your cursor is on. So that's one method of scrubbing. It's just clicking on the event itself or the timeline itself and moving through it. So um, next, if you want to be on a particular moment, like if I wanted to be on the 20 seconds and one frame mark, what I could do is double click down here in the right hand corner and change this zero to a two. And now it would say 20 seconds because it works like this. Uh, hours, minutes, seconds, and frames so this number depends on the frames of your project we're 29.970 frames so pretty much 30 frames a second so we're going to go to uh 20.01 boom now we're at frame 20.01 right in our project so that could be handy especially if you're trying to like get something ready for broadcast and they need a certain amount of frames before something starts you can type that in right there um, while you're we're still on using the mouse to scrub uh you can grab above the whole timeline in this little section right here and you can scrub and grab an in and out point uh, as you go through so as you just use your mouse left to right you can grab more of the project and scrub to see where you're finishing the project grab so this is the in and out points being set uh, so you're always whenever you're setting the in and out points you are scrubbing so uh, next you can grab the head of the cursor itself now when you do this uh, it's like grabbing the scrub head of a VCR I suppose you're gonna hear the sound played back too and it goes a lot slower so uh, if you grab below it, not the head, you, you'll just scrub very quickly through the entire th piece, grabbing just the wire, but you won't actually hear the audio. You won't be scrubbing the audio with it. So that's how to do it with a click and a drag. You can also like move the event itself through, and you, that's handy if you're just trying to figure out where something starts. Maybe you want to cut to this moment here or something like that. You can hit Control Z. But next, we're going to look at the rate. Now, you can also scrub with the rate. So with the rate, you can actually move it backwards in time and still hear the audio. And it see, it goes, this is at 0.25 speed, so a quarter speed backwards. Uh, and this is great for scrubbing when you're trying to see what its transition looks like or something. You can really dial in. So with this scrub, you can continue to hear the sound up to... Four times playback. So whether you're four times forward or you're four times backwards, you can still hear the sound. But if you go further than that, you're scrubbing through at a rate, like I'm scrubbing through at 10 times rate right now, 10 times the speed, and very quickly, but you don't hear the sound. So after four times the speed or four times the speed in reverse, you will no longer hear the sound. Uh, but you can get up to 20 times the speed in reverse and 20 times the speed forward with the rate slider. Also, this little this little button right here is nice. You can, you can actually change the normal rate. Now, this won't change the normal rate for the render, but it will change it for what you're watching. So let's say you're in a hurry. I wouldn't advise editing this way. It's easy to miss stuff, and your audio transitions tend to be a little too lax. I use a lot of tutorials I've edited at four times speed I regretted later. Um, but if you want to get a rough cut done, it's good for a rough cut. Uh, you can bring this up to... Four to up to four times speed, but whatever speed you pick, it'll actually just start playing the normal speed of your project every time you hit play uh, at a faster rate. You can't do the rate in a negative speed because then it would always play the project in reverse, um, but you can do it one up to four times speed, which makes sense because that's where you'll still hear the audio. If you double click either of these sliders, they go back to normal or this one right here it'll go back to normal and you can make it easier to dial in on the rate you want by uh, getting this double bars here and changing how big the tracks are so the J K and L keys on your keyboard if you have a uh, standard English or I think European keyboard it would have the J K and L keys I can't tell you about internationally what all keys are but for America J K and L keys for sure 
if you hit J, you'll go backwards. And if you hit L, you'll play forwards. And if you hit K, you'll stop. And why this is great is because you can kind of bump up the rate as you do it. So it'll start at a normal rate. Then if I hit L again, it'll jump to 1.5. And then L again, it'll jump to 2, 4, stopping at 4. And then it'll do the same with J in reverse. Stopping at 4. So for the J, K, and L keys, you can actually go to Options and Preferences. And then when you go to editing you'll see you the jkl shuttle speed you can change this to slow medium fast so if i apply the slow speed let's see you will only be able to go up to two both directions the fast speed you can go up to 10 times rate but you lose the sound like normal. Another keyboard method for scrubbing is actually with the arrow keys themselves. So you can actually hit left on the arrow key to, and you hold it down and it'll kind of slowly go through the project at an undefined rate, but I end up using the arrow keys a lot. Holding right will go through the project. Up and down just don't. They just let you kind of see, zoom in, uh, the same way the scroll wheel does. So, um, if you just hit the arrow keys one time, you'll actually just go through it one frame at a time, which is super useful. I do that all the time. Uh, same with reverse with the left arrow key. If you have an in and out point set and you hit Q on your keyboard, you can actually loop that section. So that's everything I know about scrubbing. I don't think there's anything I missed. If I did, please let me know in the comments below. This idea was brought to me by a commenter who had asked uh, how I scrub so quickly through my different uh, tutorials and uh, took them a while. They said it took them a while to find out. So. Uh, it made me think, you know what, there is a lot of different methods of scrubbing and moving through a project, so maybe I should make a video that kind of covers them all so everyone's on the same page. So thank you so much for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. There's lots of helpful links, including affiliate links that help out the channel in the description below. Please give that a look. I will see you guys next time.